So she said, was the question that when Quran speaks so much about science, how come the Muslims are backward? Sister, I would mainly blame the media. The media today is in the hands of the Westerners, the Europeans. It's in their hands. They have the satellite, they have the television, they have the CNN, they have the BBC. It's in their hand. The media is in their hand. And what do we read in your school books and books which we read in college? You'll read there that from 8th to the 12th century, it was the dark ages. Dark for whom? It was dark for the Europeans, not for the world. The Arabs and the Muslims were very much advanced from the 8th to the 12th century. They were very much advanced. The Europeans were backward. Because they were backward, they said it was dark ages for the world. It was not dark for the world, it was dark for the Europeans. With the limited instruments and technology what we had from 8th to 12th century, what discoveries the Muslim scientists made, it's unbelievable. Today, because science is advanced and making so many discoveries, there with the amount of limited facility we had, the amount of discoveries Muslim scientists made, it's unbelievable. For example, I quoted in my talk that Ibn Nafis, he discovered the blood circulation. But in the medical books and the books we read in school, who discovered blood circulation? William Harvey. Everyone knows William Harvey. No one knows about Ibn Nafis. Ibn Nafis spoke about blood circulation 400 years before. The Europeans they later on picked up the books of the Muslims and rehashed it and said we discovered it. See, if you see the discovery that Muslims have made, for example, if you know Ali Drusi, in 1154, he drew the first map of Mediterranean, the geography of the world, first. Mathematics. Muslims were far advanced in mathematics. We introduced the decimal points. Do you know what we call the digits 1, 2, 3? It's called as Arabic numerals. The other ones are called as Roman numerals. Why it's called Arabic numerals? Because the Arabs were the one who discovered it. The decimal point are the Arabic numerals. The person who first proved the Pythagoras theorem, he was Arab Thusi. We know about the Pythagoras theorem, but we don't know about Arab Thusi. He said that the square of the hypotenuse was equal to the sum of the opposite two sides of the triangle. Al Biruni, he was an authority in trigonometry. All these people, they were experts. If you know of Al Kindi, Al Kindi, he was a philosopher, a mathematician, an astronomer. When great scientists like Galileo, Newton, etc., they said that all physical laws were absolute. He said that all physical laws are relative. And today we know the theory of relativity is proved by Albert Einstein. No one knows about Al Kindi. He was the person who basically gave the idea of theory of relativity. Later on, he did more research and talked about theory of relativity. Who knows about the three brothers, Muhammad, Shakir, and Hassan? Who knows about them? They told the surface area of the earth from an angle at the Red Sea when people thought the world was flat. Chemistry. The Muslim, the fire advanced in chemistry. Ibn Ayyan, Jabin Ibn Hayyar, they have Latinized the word Geber. So when we read in our textbook Geber, we think it's an European. It's a Muslim. Jabir Ibn Hayyan. We know Geber. We don't know who's Jabir. He's the person who distilled alcohol. Alcohol comes from the Arabic word Al-Ghul, meaning ghost, evil spirit. Alkali is an Arabic word. He wrote 2,000 different pages on chemistry. Muhammad Zakaria Razi, he was famous in medicine. He was authority on the field of smallpox and measles. He was the first person who used mercury ointment. He wrote books on children's disease. There are several Muslims and Ali ibn Abbas. He wrote 20 volumes on medicine. Ali ibn Sina, known as Avicenna. Avicenna, it doesn't sound Muslim. Ali ibn Sina are Muslim. Avicenna not Muslim. Who got the title of Aristotle of the East? He wrote the book Kanun which was referred as a textbook of medicine till as late as 17th century. Who knows Ibn Zuhur? He was the person after Alexander who did research the parasitology. He described the H-mite, the pericarditis, he described the otitis media, he attacked the stromy. Several medical doctors, Azharvi. Azharvi was a famous dentist 
as well as surgeon as, as well as obstetrician. He invented several instruments of surgery, gynecology, as well as dentistry. We all of us know the other thing, but the media is in the hands of the Westerners. The Muslims are far advanced, but I do agree with you. Today, today, the Muslims are getting backward in science. You know why? The Europeans are being advanced. You know why? The Muslims are becoming backward because they are going away from the Holy Quran. They are going away from the religion. And do you know why the Europeans are getting advanced? They too are going away from the religion. The Europeans are also getting advanced because they are going away from the religion. The Muslims, we are going backward because they are going away from religion. I would request the Muslim brothers and sisters out here, as well as non-Muslims, they are people in the Quran. Why don't we read the Quran with understanding? Why don't we ponder over the verses? We have only kept the Quran kissing and giving on top, that's all. The Quran was not meant only to be kissed and kept on top. It should be implemented in your daily life. If you implement the Quran in your daily life, read with understanding, inshallah, again we will be on top of the world. Hope that answers the question.